A photo finish heard around the country, resulting in a first-time Sizzler winner. After winning the 1975 and 1976 edition of the prestigious event, National Modified Champion Richie Evans was the early favorite for the 10th annual Spring Sizzler. In qualifying, it was Evans setting the fast time and breaking the track record, his 61 lap the half mile at 19.46 seconds, three tenths of a second quicker than the old track record set by Ed Flemke in 1976. A 10 car invert after qualifying saw Evans start the 80 lap event in 10th spot, while Brett Bodine and Greg Sachs made up the front row. At the start, it was Sachs jumping out in front, leading the opening 18 laps. George Kent became the race's second leader on lap 19, while the rapid Roman in the 61 car was slicing his way through the top 10, and would find the lead a few laps later, taking command on lap 24. Evans would lead a race high 33 laps, but would lose the top spot when his right rear tire went flat, forcing the orange 61 to pit road, and handing the lead to Maynard Troyer. A late race spin by Leo Cleary along with just 9 lead lap cars allowed Evans to quickly make his way back to the front. Meanwhile, 13th place starter Paul Polvereri, driving the 7-Eleven, would find the lead for the first time with 9 laps to go, while Evans raced his way back into the top 3. The white flag was out, and Evans was in second spot, closing in on Polvereri, setting up for a classic finish heard nationwide on the Motor Racing Network. Evans trying it again to the inside, Polverari gets squirrely, Evans inside, side by side to turn three. Evans has the inside, Polverari is up high, they come out of turn number four. Stutter between the turns, the fans come to their feet, they are side by side running for the finish line. It's Polverari, he wins it by inches over Richie Evans in the spring sizzler. It was also the first win for Polverari at Stafford, where he would go on to win two more times during his career. Mark your calendars for the 50th running of the greatest race in the history of spring for Sunday, April 24th. The 100 lap open modified event will culminate a busy weekend of racing that also includes the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races and the past super late Model 75 on Saturday, April 23rd. See the full schedule and order your tickets today at StaffordSpeedway.com.